Hey everyone, how's it going? For today's fun Godzilla video, I'm going to be showing you how to draw Scylla from the new Godzilla and Kong The New Empire. So hope you follow along and enjoy this video today. Now to start off with Scylla, let's begin with the face. So I'm going to begin by drawing a line that's just going to go down and then it's going to kind of come up like this. Next, we're going to make a line that goes down and up for the eye. Then we'll make a line that's going to curve up and down here. Next, we're going to go down and up for the front of the face. I'm going to bring this line up and then over to here. Then we'll make a little curve here for the other eye. Next, I'm going to make kind of like a bumpy line that comes up. And then I'm going to make a bumpy line down. And then I'm going to bring this over. Now let's draw some of the tentacles in the front. So I'm going to begin by just making a couple little wavy lines. So we'll just kind of make a little curve here. We'll make it skinny at the end, and then we'll make it get bigger as it comes back up here. Put another one here, just kind of make it wavy. And then same thing, just skinny and then bigger as it comes up. We'll make one right here. It's going to just kind of curve down and then just come back up. Make one come down here. Then we'll kind of like jump out and come down. Put a little bump here. We'll draw a couple of little ones that just kind of come down and up. Another one over here. Then we'll make another one kind of come down here and back up. Next, starting here, I'm going to draw a line that's going to come up and then over. And then I'm going to make a line that's just going to come up like this, and we'll come right to here. I'll put a little spike here, and I'll go up and down again for another spike, and then up and down right here. Next, we'll just kind of curve a line around here. Then I'm going to bring this line up. And then we'll bring this line up to start one of the legs. I'm going to bring this line down to here. And we'll put a couple little bumps. Then I'm going to go up and down. Bring this up to a point and down. Then I'm going to make this kind of bumpy with a couple points and connect it to here. Bring this line in. Then we'll put a couple little points here. Then we'll bring this line down and then up. Then we'll just draw a little line that comes down and over. Next, starting here, let's make a little curve. Then we'll make a line that's just going to go down. And we'll come up to here. We'll curve this up. Then we'll bring this back down to here. I'm going to bring this line down, curve it around. We'll bring it up, and as we bring it up, we'll put a couple of little spikes on it. I'm going to bring this line down to a point, and then we'll come up. And then we'll just kind of make these little zigzag pointed lines up.
Now, starting here, we're just going to go down, and then we'll bring this right over to here. And then we'll just bring this line over to here and kind of up a little bit. We'll make it pop out here and kind of come down. Then we'll make a couple little bumps here. And then we'll bring this one down to here. Make a little curve and we'll put a couple bumps and then we're going to bring this right up to here. Then we'll just add a little line that comes down and then a couple little bumps on here for some texture. Now starting here, I'm going to curve this line up. And then I'm going to bring this line up and then as I curve it around, I'm going to make these little kind of pointed little bumps on it and it's going to come down. Then I'm going to bring this down to here. Now we're going to make Scylla shell over here. So what we're going to do is we're going to bring this line up to about here. Make a little bit of a broken line and we'll just kind of come down. And then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to kind of make a little spiral in here. So we can just kind of make some little broken lines as we bring it in there for like a little spiral. Kind of bring a little line over here. Now let's kind of finish off these legs. So we're going to make another leg right over here. So I'm going to bring this line up. We'll kind of jump over this leg and come to here. We'll bring this down and then back and then right over to here. Let's bring this line down and then we'll bring this line down. Kind of bumpy, a little bit bigger as it comes down. Kind of connect it to here. Make a couple little kind of bumpy lines then we're going to come up and in. Now we're gonna make a couple back here too. So I'm gonna make one that's just gonna kinda of come down. Kinda of go down and then bring it up. We want this one to look a little smaller because it's in the back. Then we're gonna make this kinda of come down and then up here. Then we're gonna have another one here. So we're just gonna bring this down, kinda of past these tentacles. Then we're gonna bring it up to here, real easy. So this is kind of like our basic shape of Scylla. Now I want to come in here and kind of add the details to make it look more realistic. So on all of these kind of pointed areas, I like to just add a couple little extra broken lines, especially kind of right here by those little spikes. So we're just going to put some little broken lines kind of right around here. And we're just going to kind of put these all around there. And just kind of around here too. Next, I'm going to make some lines that kind of go across too, just to kind of make it look like there's a little bit of texture, like maybe these are kind of rounded a little bit. Just these extra curved lines that are just a little bit broken kind of help add to that texture. On these arms, I'm also, or legs, I'm also going to make some of these long broken lines, kind of right along one side usually, just kind of make it a little bit more detailed. And I like to kind of add some little curves in here. Just kind of show where some of those little spikes might be. I can always add a few extra spikes onto some of these as well. Casilla does have quite a few little random spikes all over the legs. Kind of add a few little broken lines around here. And we don't want to forget these legs too as well. A lot of details on Scylla. On the head, I'm going to make some kind of little broken lines that just kind of come down for some more detail, even around the eye a little bit. Now I'm going to make some little lines kind of right around here.
Then I'm going to make some little lines over here. And then I'm going to make some little lines that just kind of curve right around here. You can see we're just kind of curving right around here on the shell area. Just kind of make it look like it's got a little bit of texture on there. I'm also going to add a little bit of a broken line around some different areas in here and kind of curve some lines on these spikes as well. And there you go. There is your drawing of Scylla from Godzilla and Kong, the new empire. I'm going to fast forward and start coloring this. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed.